What's up guys? Welcome back to Be English with Story. As we're feeling productive today, let's talk grammar. In particular, let's talk about a very tricky sentence structure, which probably has every single learner of English perplexed at the beginning of their language learning journey. Let's talk about neither and either and what the hell these two mean. First and foremost, we use either at the end of negative sentences to mean also not. Oh my gosh, I can't quite believe I asked out Rose. I can't quite believe you did that either. Although in informal speaking, we often just say neither. Boy who was killed, how well did you know him? I'm afraid not well enough. Me neither. But what if we want to make a negative statement about two things or two people at the same time? What do we do then? Well, we just use neither as a determiner. Check out this example. Neither jacket fitted her. Well, there were two jackets and not one of them fitted her. By the way, bear in mind that neither of is used with a singular verb. For example, neither of my best friends was around. In speaking though, neither on its own is perfectly fine in replies when we're referring to two things that have been already mentioned. Hey Mike, which would you prefer, tea or coffee? Neither things, I've just had a coffee. Last but not least, we can use neither as a conjunction with nor. It connects two or more negative alternatives. Neither Brian nor his wife mentioned anything about moving house. Brian didn't mention that they were moving house. His wife didn't mention that they were moving house. And I thought I was one of the family. All right, on this note, I think it's time to call it a day because neither you nor I will be able to retain more information than this. Your task though for the rest of the day will be to come up with at least one example with neither or either in the comments down below. Okay, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye!